I mean, right? What's up, Jonah? It's Wednesday, May 27th, and holy crap, I'm so, so excited. Yesterday, we moved in an airplane piece from uh, from a prop shop where we, we picked up this segment of airplane and took it all the way to the studio. It was definitely, you know, cool to see everybody coming together. We all had our PPE on and, you know, we were doing our best to kind of keep our distance, but it was nice to see like artistic community coming together and getting ready to do something super, super exciting. Jonah, I'm really glad that you're as excited as I am about Wasteland Weekend. I mean, okay, I might be more interested in it than you are. I might be more excited than you are. I'm not saying you're not excited. I'm just saying I'm excited. Okay, before I jump into all of my thoughts and feelings about this crazy project we got going on, I wanted to go ahead and answer your question from yesterday, which was, what do I do to remember the question that you asked me? Because I don't remember, so I'm like, ha, ha, I remember it. I didn't have to look it up. You saw nothing. Okay, Jonas, your question was, how do I cultivate openness when I'm doing a project? And I think the number one thing that I do actually struggle with is remembering that I have creative freedom in a lot of areas. I think you know, like I do, that a lot of times when a client has a vision, you're really just doing what they want and you're trying to sneak as much of what you think would be cool into it, but ultimately your creative control is often throttled. So for me, when I'm able to do my own project, I do definitely forget that it's like, I can do anything. So I know that I actually struggle with remembering to be super open because I get too focused on a concept and I know that it takes a lot of work for me to actually like remember that, hey, maybe I can think about this outside the box. Maybe I can try something a little different. You know, whatever it is, I do definitely have to put effort into it. And I think the number one thing that keeps me open is collaborating. The more that I work with other people, the more ideas that come to the table, the more I'm actually like, yes, 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 let's do more. Yes, let's add to that. Yes, let's let's push it in that direction. I think collaboration always keeps me open. It's super important. I've been that way since I was a kid. I always love working in teams. Um, I'm really, I mean, I do love my solo time, but ultimately if I, if I, like, if I had to talk about what keeps me open and motivated, usually working with a team. You know, I usually tend to do more solo work as a way of rebalancing after time with team. But you know, I definitely, definitely love team. Okay, Jonah, I wanna show you some more clips and kind of talk to you about this airplane. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. Alex. That's me. <laughs> right here. Craziness. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Like, I can't tell you. And yesterday when we got together, I, you know, pulled everyone and, you know, I wanted to make sure that um, everyone knew that this is just a fun art project that we're just going to do to just be creative. And I really, really wanted to impress on everybody that like when we come back together, which is probably going to be tomorrow on Thursday, we're going to get together and we're going to brainstorm stuff. And we're just going to come up with cool ideas of things to make with the resources we have around us and work together as a team to just make some cool art. Like, I don't care if Wasteland Weekend gets canceled. That would be horrible. But at the end of the day, the real value is actually the teamwork, the collaboration and all of the creative artwork that we're going to be doing in this time that's very unstructured. Speaking of unstructured chaos, I think I have to tell you one of the funniest things I think I've ever heard one of our employees, Michael Kaufman, say. And that was on our drive to go pick up the aircraft. He just quietly said, Matt, this apocalypse is moving too slow. Like, seriously, Stephen King, skip a few chapters already. 
Okay, well, that's all I have to show you for what we have with the airplane and some of the concepts that I really want to like get into for our tribe. And of course, like as much as I really want to like tell you about how excited I am, I also want to always make sure that we take time to focus on what it is that we can do to create a conversation that's always rolling about our business, about our philosophy on how to work with teams and creativity. And so I appreciated your question yesterday about openness and I have a question for you as well. So in the same vein as your question yesterday, I'd like to ask you, Jonah, what is it that makes you so open when working with a team? And what are some ways that really get you excited about collaborating? And on the opposite side, what are some behaviors and personality types that tend to actually get you to close off? And how do you avoid allowing those types of behaviors to kill your creative process? All right, man. Well, that's it for me. I am so, so stoked. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I certainly did. It was really, really exciting to get everyone like kind of juices flowing, creative conversation moving. And, you know, hopefully this Thursday we'll get some real momentum going. All right. Well, I've got to set up for Tiki Cocktail Hour, which as always, six o'clock on Wednesday, Facebook Live. So I'm going to get to that and I will see you tomorrow. Stay creative.